I am with Harley Munger, and you are an artist. You're also on the board of the Redwoods Mural Society. Is that right? Yes, that's right. And also the director of Dog Valley Arts. And Excellent. So you're an artist. What is your art form? Um, kids. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's uh, we work with clay, mm -hmm. uh, doing ceramic murals. Mm -hmm. uh, and now ceramic murals are different than murals that get painted because you actually have a a thing you're working with clay. We're working with a solid medium, right? Okay. Uh, it's uh, more like stained glass than it is painting. Mm -hmm. um, we have to make each individual piece from uh, raw clay. We buy it by the ton. By make, the ton? We buy it by the ton. <laughs> um, and uh, we make our own glazes, do our own testing, you know, all of this. So you actually create glazes. You're, you're not just, you know, sort of an artist. You're also a chemist. Also a chemist and, yeah, and a lot of math involved. Uh, we wow. have lots of different chemicals in here. Um, just, yeah, lots of different chemicals. So the murals that you've got around town, what, mm -hmm. what are some of them? Um, we have um, a number of them down at the um, swimming pool. Mm -hmm. The original artist was Rick Bennett, and in his honor and memory, uh, we decided to put him in stone mm -hmm. and took one of his, by his permission, took one of his paintings of the harbor and blew the whole thing up and put it in stone. Uh, same with Dorothy Ishoy. Uh, she's been an artist around here for years, taught art in school, and in honor of her, we put uh, one of the blue herons up on her side. Uh, there's uh, two inside the swimming pool, uh, one of the, uh, by dolphins. Uh, the dolphins was the second one we've done in the year 2000, I think. Wow. And it was done by kids who owed community service hours. Um, court ordered and yeah. they were in our pottery program and we decided to have fun doing our community oh, service hours yeah. and um, we have uh, the larger one in the entrance way of the swimming pool it took us about a year to do had um, a total of four to five youth working on it all the time that's you know, an enormous amount of time a year it is yeah it takes the, each piece of clay needs to be dealt with 17 different times in process uh, and sometimes the process requires days and days, like drying, um, and then transferring it over to kilns and stuff like this. Uh, so tell me about the process. What, what do you start with? Uh, we start with, with raw clay out of the bag, okay. um, and we roll it out. Uh, all, our, all our slabs are half-inch thick, so we stay consistent. Um, we uh, start with an original pattern, and then uh, we have the kids draw a pattern from that pattern. So you've um, traced it and then how do you? We, we, we cut the tracing out with scissors mm -hmm. and that gives us a basic pattern. It's 8% larger than the finished product. Okay. We put that on clay. We have a little needle tool that I designed. We follow that around and mm -hmm. cut, cut the piece out. Right. It's finished off with a little um, sponge brush mm -hmm. so there's no sharp edges on it. Right. We put it into our dry box dry box is there for about three days at a minimum then we put it in a bisque kiln it's fired it takes about two days for that process by the time it gets hot and gets cool again we take the pieces from there we put them back onto the original if it's a large a mural we put it everything out on the floor and we put the pieces out on the floor um, and each piece is numbered on the back so we match it up with the number that's on the original pattern when all the pieces are made and bis fired, then we go through and select the pieces that require the same color of glaze, and we glaze all of them at the same time because glazes will change over time. Mm -hmm. What I glaze today may not be the same in six weeks. Even if the chemistry, the, you know, the equation's the same, but the colors right, are Right, the color, yeah. yeah. I mean, just sitting in the bucket will yeah. change the chemistry wow. of it. Wow. Um, so we try to do them all at the same time. Uh, when you reorder chemicals, they're not the same, right. even though they say they are. Right. Um, so you've got them glazed. Got them glazed, and then, and then we fire them again. Fire them again. Fire them mm -hmm. again. It'll take um, at least two days going through the firing process. Mm -hmm. We run them up to cone five, which is about 2,140 degrees. Wow. Um, 
to it. It takes a while to cool off, right. which makes it nice and warm up here. Yes, I can <laughs> <laughs> And then you put them together? And then, and then we put them back on the original pattern, mm -hmm. and then we do a, a process what we call compressing. Mm -hmm. And that's because the finished product will end up being 8% smaller than the original pattern. Mm -hmm. And then once it's compressed and everything looks right, and that's all by eyeball because you don't, don't yeah, have anything to go right. with again. It's all by eyeball. An example of this are the ones on 3rd Street, right? All of those beautiful... All, uh, right. Yeah. The 3rd Street murals are... Um, Processes remains the same, mm -hmm. um, and it's just a longer process because it's a huge, pro yes. huge, huge yes. project. Yes. And yes. you obviously have to get sponsors. Right, we get right. sponsors right. from our locals, and we've been writing grants to to help right. you know right. augment it. Now, the mm -hmm. difference between those kind of murals and say the murals that we see in the schools, mm -hmm. those are six by six. Six by six tiles. tiles. Right, and right. that's a completely different. Totally different process. Right. I mean, we buy the tiles already made. They're bisfired. I take them to the schools. Um, we draw onto them what we want, the image. I've designed some glazes that the kids can literally paint right onto the tile. I bring them back here and fire them, take them back there, and the kids help us stick them on the wall with thin set and grout. That's I mean, excellent. It's neat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it, and it and you obviously have a wonderful time doing what you're doing. I do. I yeah, do. Especially yeah. when you see a second grader there doing it with a yes. you know left handed Absolutely. and, and just, it's neat. It's real neat. Harley, thank you again. This has not only been educational, but it's been really fun. Is there anything that you need? Uh, we need a grant writer. Okay. A volunteer grant writer would help us tremendously. Great. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you.